Today, we are going to walk through how to send vCenter alerts to a Gmail account. In this session, I'll be using gtovcenter alert at gmail.com as the sender email and therindu.iq at gmail.com as the receiving email. Before we get started, one important note your vCenter must be able to access the internet for this process to work. Let's join to screencast. First, log in to your vCenter server. Once you're in, navigate to Configuration on top panel. After that, click on General tab. Now, let's configure the mail settings. Click on the Edit button in the General tab and select Mail. In this section, there are two parameters you need to fill in. In the Email Server Name field, you need to insert the email server details. Since every environment is different, you can enter your own mail server details. But for this demo, I'll be using Google's SMTP server. You can find the Google SMTP server details, just search Google SMTP server in any web browser. You'll find that the server address is smtp.gmail.com. Copy this address and paste it into the mail server name. Next, we need to insert the mail sender address. This is the email address that vCenter will use to send alerts. For this, I've created a new Gmail address that will act as the sender. I will now copy and paste the sender's email address into vCenter. Now, go to the Advanced Settings section and, click Edit Settings. Use the filter icon in the Name column and search for, Mail. Paste the sender's email address in the value field of, mail.smtp.username. Next, we need to enter the password. Go to your sender email account, navigate to Manage Account, and click on Security. I have two-factor authentication enabled on this email, so I need to generate an app-specific password. To generate an app password, type, app passwords, is endofmyaccount.google.com in the search bar. Now, create an app password by insert an app name. I'll enter, vCenter, as the app name and click create. Once the password is generated, copy it. Return to the advanced settings in vCenter and paste this app password in the value field for mail.smtp.password. Finally, set the mail server port to 587 and click save. Now that the configurations are complete, let's test to see if it works. To do that, we will manually generate an alert. First, go to alarm definitions. I'll be using the host memory usage alert for this test. Before editing the alarm, I check the current memory consumption of the host, and it's at 40%. Now, select host memory usage alert and click on edit. Click next to view the default configuration. As you can see, by default, an alert is triggered if memory usage is above 80% for 5 minutes. I'm going to change these values so we can generate an alert manually. I'll set the alert to trigger if memory usage exceeds 30% for 1 minute. Enable the send email notification option. If you want repeat notifications, you can enable the repeat option. However, for this demo, I'm leaving it disabled. Next, insert the recipient email address where you want to receive the alerts. I'll use one of my personal email addresses for this purpose. Once the email is inserted, click Next. In this lab, I'm not setting up a second alarm rule. So I'll skip that step and click Next. On the next screen, you can enable Reset Alarm if you wish. I'll enable email notifications for the reset as well and insert the same recipient email address. Click save to finalize the configuration. 
We know that the host's memory usage is currently above 30%, so he should receive the email alert within 1 minute since we set the threshold at 30% over 1 minute. Let's wait and see. As you can see, vCenter has triggered the host memory usage alert and I've received two emails from the sender address. The email clearly shows the warning message with all relevant details. We've successfully configured email notifications in vCenter and tested the setup by generating a manual alert. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.